My name is Carson. Welcome to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how-tos, and reviews. And in today's video, I'll be unveiling what I believe is the best ratchet strap on the market. Uh, these are the smart straps. I picked up this new set from Lowe's, um, but this original set I bought over 15 years ago at Walmart for I believe $20 a set, and they're not much more now. So uh, without further ado, let's get into the video. So as I mentioned, I originally picked up a set of four of these back in high school uh, from Walmart for uh, 15, 20 bucks, four pack. And uh, unfortunately, I uh, don't quite have all four. Uh, a few have uh, fallen off on the road, got smashed, run over. Um, but we have abused these. Uh, my friend and I have used these for moving, just abuse over the years, and they still work. The ratchet mechanism still works. I have I have ratchet straps that have been less than a year old and not working. Huge testament in these, and we have, like I said, abused these. We have gotten stuck in our trucks before and used these to pull ourselves out, and uh, they just keep going. So uh, let's uh, let's open up this box and uh, do a comparison review. I believe they're going to be pretty close to the same. And what you need to look for is the heavy duty. Don't be uh, cheaping out and getting the ones that are five dollars cheaper. They don't have the thick straps. So uh, let's see if we can uh, finagle this box open and move forward. You know what? These are even uh, fancier than my original ones. So these come with a little. Uh, Velcro strap around here, so that is nice. Oh, they they hoodwinked us. There's a lot more little zippy ties holding these on. Man, they went crazy on these. We'll just go like this. Get us set out here. Okay, so here are the smart strap ratchet straps. And I've got this. I always use zip ties, roll these up, zip tie them. Let's really uh, dig into these and see how close they are to the same. See if they are the same. They do have a couple style iterations. Uh, these are the D handles. Um, and I, I actually, they have a bigger version of these. It's a little bit more expensive. Um, but I really like these. These are the one inch wide straps. And they are 10 foot in length, and they are a thousand pound working load strength and a 3,000 pound brake strength. Oh, and it's got this uh, reusable storage case. I don't think I'll be reusing this, but uh, that is an interesting option. They, they have some lower end straps, but you look for the right ones, and they really look like a quality strap. As far as the hooks go, you know what? They have skimped a little bit over the years. I don't know what the braking strength is for my set. Um, we are a little bit different in our ratchet here, so um, this little tail is a little bit shorter, which sometimes having that shorter tail is nice. Um, just depends on what you're strapping down. If you've got a really short load, that might be difficult to hook on there. No extra loops to hook into, um, so no extra bells and whistles. And then on this end, oh well, yeah, that is that is slick. It's actually. Um, sewn on there. I really like that. That is a nice little feature. On the other end, we're the same deal. Hooks. The hooks look a little bit different shaped, which is hopefully an improved design. Um, sometimes these hooks don't get on everything very well. Um, but like I said, I, I'm in it for the durability. These have lasted so long. Um, there's other straps that I kind of use uh, for specialty things. But as far as a, a good workhorse, these are a great option. And you know what else this will do? This little tab also is going to prevent you from pulling this through on accident. So that's pretty nifty. One of the most amazing things to me is that this ratchet still works. And it works really well. Um, I just says it's not going to work. Um, this one actually is a little bit banged up and beat up. It's not completely straight and aligned anymore. But the fact that it still works uh, is crazy. I, I want to do a, a full ratchet strap review video talking about different things. I don't know if I'll get around to it. 
but uh, the straps that came with my Snow X Salter, um, the whole side of this is just rusted and corroded and it's just not, not good stuff. So whatever coating they put on these um, seems to do the trick. And you can see it's, it's definitely you know corroded, rusted, um, but they have just held up. So these little things are identical looking. Uh, the D handles are a little bit different. These kind of have like a two finger look, whereas this is more just a flat. And the ratchets are, you know, why, why change it up? Look, we do have a little, so this is a rivet now instead of the bolt. So we got a rivet here. So unfortunately, you can't maintain that. So if you want to, you know, but like I said, I haven't needed, I haven't taken this off. Haven't had a problem. Haven't needed to exchange this end out. We got a little spring there. Yeah, these are these are literally identical in in most regards. Okay, well, I feel like this is gonna be a really short review video, but I really don't have much to say other than 15 year testament right here. 15 years uh, in a toolbox, in a truck bed, rolling around, teenage teenager me, and here it is, still standing today, and they still build the same version. Um, I, uh, it was time for a new set, but I won't be throwing this one away. It's still gonna get used, still gonna get abused until it's uh, gone like the rest. Um, I don't even know if any of these have broken aside from user error. You know, obviously you've got some phrase on here you know, if, if it was against something sharp and it got cut, like I said, we used it to pull out a stuck vehicle once. And the way you do that is you don't just use one strap. This only has a, a 3,000 pound brake strength, 1,000 pound safe working load. We doubled them up. So we doubled up two straps, hooked it up to a come along, and used it as basically a chain to pull us out. And it works. Um, used it for the landscape business, used it for moving across the country, everything. What more can you say than a 15 year testament? These are great straps. Check out check out Smart Straps. This is not a sponsored video. I went to Lowe's and picked these up. I, I sought these out specifically because you see the stuff on the shelves and they're just cheap. You go to Home Depot, Walmart, Lowe's, whatever it is. A lot of the strap options are cheap and then you can pay a little bit extra and I'll put up a price tag and the you know overlay whatever. I think these were about $25. And they had a couple different options as far as higher end stuff, but I wanted to go with the exact same design for this video. And I think you could, you know, if you change up the design, whatever you like, whatever your ergonomic comfort grip is, you know, cho choose you. I'm excited to have another new set of these. So uh, we'll uh, stop rambling. We'll finish the video there. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. Leave any questions or comments down below. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching Thrifty Garage. And we'll see you on the next one.
here are some best straps. My name is Carson, my name is Carson, my name is Carson, and in today's video, we're gonna be unveiling what I believe is one of the best ratchet straps on the market, and that are the, and that are these, those are these.